hi so in this video we will learn how to send messages into the azure service bus using q and as a python program so let's get started so first of all we'll go to the azure portal and we'll look for service bus so once we get the service bus you just click on the create just fill up the basic detail like resource group i would say rg bus and give a unique name pm asb001 if i am if all good okay and then pricing tier i will choose a standard because even i can choose the basic one because basic supports the queues but there's no topic so i'll definitely go for a standard one it has all the queue topic subscription all available so let's review and create let's wait for some time click on the create service bus has been created so let's go to the resource and we can go to the queues and create a queue and i will give the name as simple queue 001 we'll go with the default values just click on create so meanwhile what we'll do we will create our a Py, uh, python project and i am using the pycharm so go to the file new project and just give name any name um q simple q sender q or i would prefer give name as a client So in the means dot pi, I'll just put a method related to the sending the queue. So first of all, we require a library. So I'll use this uh, from Azure service bus import service bus client and services message. And how we can get into it? All the libraries pip install azure service bus just try that okay so it's look cleared we'll use the connection string and queue name so connection string would be we'll get it from the portal so let's go to back to the portal so our queue has been created so go to the azure service bus or namespace so this is our namespace and click on a shared access public access policies click over here and just click manage just save it so it has an all access to the queue click on this primary connection string okay and put over here and then we required queue name the queue name is 001 then what i will do is i will create a function to send the messages okay so this is a function to send a message 
and we will call this function from a main method so what this function is doing it first of all get the client using the service was client from the connection string so it's using the connection string and from the connection string is creating the service was client then it will create a sender a sender how it can so get service was client dot get q sender and you pass this q name and then the message that we want to create so first of all we will create a service was message and using this hello world just passing it and then send the send message send the close and service was client and close and message just we return this message is successful okay and let's uh, give the warning fill the paragraph anything else awesome i'll remove this function does not require anything all look good so let's try to run it look good message sent successfully so if you want to check from the portal we can go to the queues and click on the queues go to the service bus explorer and here we have one messages i would just select peak from start and we get it Let's try another message to send. Hello one zero zero two, and again let's send. And refresh. Peak from start. We get hello world and hello world zero zero two. So that's pretty simple. So we have seen that how we can send a simple queue uh, with the default values uh, queue message to the queue with the default values that we have created or used for creating the queue so that's it for today's video thanks for watching see you the next time